It's now possible to create multiple consistent characters in AI video, as well as keeping unparalleled consistency between objects, architecture, landscapes, and so much more. In this video, I'm going to break down the latest advancements in AI video and show you how you can create your own stunning AI stories like this. So one of the key aspects of this is the ability to input different angles of a subject and use those to influence the output of the AI video. For example, here we have three images of this lady and you can see that we can then generate a video that maintains her likeness from every angle. This really allows us to input an actor or an actress into our work. Let's take another look. Here is Natalie Portman in Lyon, and you can see that what we have here is a lot of elements have been taken from this and recreated in the AI video. We've got everything from the choker to the stripy top, and it has a uncanny resemblance to Natalie Portman. Now, this was created simply by inputting these three images and then using the prompt, a girl is walking on the battlefield holding a gun. And you can also see that it maintains the tonalities and the color grading from the three shots that have been input. Next up, we have Kate Winslet playing Rose in Titanic. And the prompt was, a woman is on the deck of a ship at sea. And here we can see a wonderful likeness to young Rose wearing the exact replica of the necklace that is depicted in these three images. And that is what's incredibly important here. The ability to maintain these fine details that allow us to keep a coherent arc through our stories. Now, this doesn't just work with humans. You can also use it to add in animals to your work. Here is an example of a cat. Now, this is an example of a corgi. Now, I want you to pay particular attention to the markings on the face of this corgi. So here you can see that we have this thin slither going between the eyes of the corgi. And if we take a look at this video, you can see that this is exactly replicated. Now you can even see that there is a consistency between the markings on his front leg here, which comes just across the shoulder, which is exactly consistent to the example. Now you can get quite creative with this and also experiment with using collectible action figures. So here we have three images of a doll from different angles, and you can see that this can be turned into an animated piece as the doll sli slowly swivels around. And you can see that it keeps a fantastic commitment to the same hairstyle and the same clothing. Here is another example of a, a doll waving her hand, and it really brings this inanimate object to life. Now we can also do this for illustrated characters for animation. Here are three images of a character, and you can see that this is turned into a moving animation with our character keeping consistency from start to finish. You can see that even on the lapels here, the exact n markings are kept consistent. Now, beyond doing this with characters, the next most important thing to consistently recreate in our stories is environments. And that's because when we move from shot to shot or return to a location, we want it to look the same. And for that, we can use landscapes and also architecture to prompt our AI video. And you can see here that this drone-like shot maintains perfect architectural consistency with the design. This is another example of an autumnal scene. And once again, we managed to recreate architectural buildings very adequately. Now we can also get creative by merging diverse elements together with the multi-image input. For example, we can put in a building and also a scenic environment. For example, here we are combining a building with the northern lights. And you can see we get two variations here with two different colored northern lights. Here is one. You can see these beautiful blue and green northern lights above this building. And here is the second one. And you can see by changing the input image, we get a completely different color palette. But both maintain consistency and complements to the original input images. Now, we can also do this with objects. For example, here we have a scene with the man and we've inputted a mobile phone. We've now asked the man to interact with this object in the scene. This is incredibly useful for complex storytelling environments where we're asking characters to 
interact with elements that are extremely specific. So here we have our man and we also have our phone. Now you can also put people in dresses if you like. Here is an example of Elon Musk wearing a lovely white gown. I will have to say he's lost a few pounds there. Now there's a whole host of creative ways that you can apply this technique and the only limit is your imagination. Here is one example that I particularly like where they've inputted the character and also an Iron Man suit. And so you can get the character to immediately transform into a superhero. Now, I couldn't resist trying out some examples myself, but I wanted to explore how we can use this with product promotion. So I took this image of a woman and this image of a fine, beautiful hat, and I asked AI to combine them, and this is what I got out. And as you can see, it's perfectly recreated the hat and added it to this woman. Now, what is particularly useful about this is that we can input character designs from separate places and combine them to bring different characters into the same scene. For example, here is an image of Leonardo DiCaprio and this man here, and they've also added in a setting. And AI can combine all of these elements to give us this shot. Now, again, you can do this with a lot of different mediums. So you could even do this with Tom and Jerry in an animated way and start creating your own new versions of old cartoons. So the multi-image reference to video allows us to add multiple images with different subjects or different angles of the same subject. It gives us greater control over how we tell stories. But how do we use it? Well, I've put together a prompt guide and a collection of images that you can use to experiment with this new feature and you can download all of those for free in the description below. This includes a set of prompt templates as well as some very useful images that you might want to experiment with for creating different effects. Like there is this superhero costume, which you can use to create an awesome transition for yourself into a superhero like this. If you're new here, I'm AI Samson, and on this channel we explore the latest frontier in AI creativity. This video is made possible with support from Vidu a tool I find exciting and think you might find interesting too. You can try it for free and see what you think. Their support helps me keep creating free content like this and allows me to share tools and processes that can help you in your AI journey. Thanks for supporting the channel and I hope you enjoy the video. So I always dreamed of playing Legolas in Lord of the Rings and I'm going to show you how I created this mini film of me as Legolas. So you can see here I've got various shots of me playing Legolas all working together. Now I'll tell you exactly how I did this. First of all I looked for some images of Legolas. I found these and then what I did is I used a face swap tool. I was using RenderNet. I go to the studio effect. I go to face replace. I go to upload photo. I make sure that I've got a PNG version of the image. So I take a little screenshot of this and I upload it into the file container. From here, the next step is to upload a shot of me old mug. So once this is up, the next thing to do is come down and select upload face. I then get a high quality image of my own face and then I finally go to replace one face. Now this will create an image of me face swapped into Legolas. Now the next step is to come into Vidu and you're going to go to create video. From here, we're going along to the brand new reference to video tab, which allows us to upload multiple images. And we're going to start off by uploading different shots of me as Legolas. I've got three here and this extra one that I just made as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in a prompt. So I will put in my basic prompt. Now what I like to do is I like to take this and I like to enhance my prompt using a special GPT that I created. If you are interested in making your own GPT for creating video prompts, check out this video here. And what this does is it adds in more specific cinematic language, which gives us a much more detailed and immersive idea. So once we're ready, we can go ahead and press create. But I'm going to tell you a little trick here, which is I highly recommend turning on 1080p for this because the output is much more detailed and a higher resolution. Now you have a few other options, including the new movement amplitude. And this is the amount of amplitude or the amount of movement that gets applied to your video. Now I recommend that uh, you can keep it on small, but you can also experiment. I will show you what medium looks like today. So go ahead and press create. Now, as that's loading, I will show you a, another way that we can use this, and that's by introducing a, another protagonist. So I will remove one of the images of myself and I can upload a, another character to interact with. So I think I would like to have 
Sydney Sweeney playing my leading lady in this film. So I'm going to take an image of her, I'm going to download it, I'm going to come back into Vidu, and I'm going to upload an image of Sydney. Now you're going to say, Lego Lass embraces blonde woman in a magical castle. Now I'll take my prompt, go back to TPT, expand this into something a little bit more fluent, a little more extravagant, and I'll come back and paste the whole thing in. Now it's great that we can create a few different videos at the same time. Now let's remove Sydney, and we're going to see how we can work with objects here. So I'm going to come into Mid Journey, and I'm going to create myself a rather magical new object. So I want to create a magic bow made of glowing blue energy, realistic. I'm also going to take my prompt and paste that into my image prompt generator in GPT. So I'm going to paste in my image prompt, and now we're going to get out a lovely looking bow. Okay, this looks pretty interesting. I'm going to download this. It doesn't look much like a traditional bow. Let's see how Vidu handles this. We're going to upload the bow, and we're going to run this new prompt for Legolas firing his golden bow. So now we have our outputs for Legolas, and this first edition was simply with three images of Legolas in a magic forest. And we've got this wonderful talking shot, which is great for adding in some dialogue and lip syncing it to this scene. Now, next up, we have Legolas and Sydney Sweeney embracing. Ah, yes, happiness at last. And finally, we have Legolas working with his new magic bow. So you can see that we created this glowing bow and it's now created inside of the shot. Now this version did not come out exactly how I would have liked. And if that happens, it's very easy to simply go back into the creation process by cre creating re-edit, and then it puts everything back into the creator. Then you can go ahead and rerun this. And then as you see from this version, you get a completely different output each time. Now, let me show you how I created this part of the sequence, which is this beautiful title shot, which is where we get the letters forming out of the clouds. Now, this can really add a sense of professionalism and specificity to our work. And to do this, I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools for working with texts, and that is ideogram.ai. And whenever I need specific text in a shot, I use this tool. Now, I simply edit in the prompt, a Lord of the Rings style font with a text, Return of the Samson. The text is placed over a mountainous landscape with a clear sky and a few trees. And it came out with these options, of these, I selected this one. Now with this, I took this image directly into Vidu, and I used the image to video feature. So I simply went to the image to video tab, selected the upload box, popped in my image, and then I put text disappears into smoke, and then simply went ahead and ran that. And that gave me the ability to have the text disappear into smoke. And then what I did to make it appear is I simply played the clip backwards. So this way you can have either the text appearing or disappearing. Now I've had quite a lot of fun creating different scenes with me as Legolas, and I've really got enough clips to start putting them together into a simple short narrative. Now let me show you an example of how I put together a environment as well. You can see here that we can easily add in a mountain scene and this can be recreated in the shot. In this instance I took myself and gave myself the opportunity to wear some old money clothing and ride on a nice minty Vespa. Now I had a lot of fun working with Vidu and I think it's come on leaps and bounds. Now Vidu has not just unleashed this powerful image reference tool, it's also updated, upgraded, and enhanced its video creation capabilities. You can now create videos in 1080p, and let's take a look at some of the most impressive examples. Here we have an example of a very lifelike situation with wonderful strobe lights effects. Just look at the way that the material on this synthetic jacket undulates. Here I was playing around with how well video handles liquids, because liquids are an extremely difficult material to effectively render. And as you can see, we've got these wonderful splashes flopping around as this person made of cream disintegrates. Now, of course, I believe that the most important test of AI video is looking at the details of realism. And as you can see here, we have a very anatomically correct human and some beautiful consistencies in the 
tonalities across her skin. Now, one of the hardest things for AI video to handle is humans walking. This seemingly simple exercise is actually incredibly complicated for AI to accurately replicate. But here we can see this individual walking and all of the limbs are moving in exactly the way that we would like them to, in a natural and consistent manner. Now here is a fantastic cat simply laying back in the water and look how as the cat inserts their paw into the water we see the ripples come out from the entry point. Here we have a cinematic shot and we can see a lovely sense of lift and bounce in this woman's hair. Here we have a more abstract rendering of a fish and I love the translucent nature of the tail here. Now Previously, when I've tried to work with these beautiful interior designs with fish tanks, what had happened was the fish would suddenly swim out of the fish tank. And that is not happening here, which is incredibly exciting. This is one of my favorite examples, which is a really immersive sci-fi scene of this robot. And I love the lighting effects that give it a very dramatic feel. Now, why is it so important to have consistency in our videos? This opens up the possibility for world building, where we can create immersive and consistent realities for our characters to exist in, where we can take an object and have it reappear at different moments in time. We can also use this for changing the time of day in a specific location. Just look at this example, which I changed from being in a dark and snowy environment to this on a glistening early morning on a summer's day. Now some top tips for using video and getting the most out of this, because it's important to know how to caress the tool to really get the best results. First of all, I highly recommend that you run all of your experiments in 1080p. The detail is much more accurate and the coherence of the video is highly improved. Now, it also helps to put in high resolution inputs for your image references. Try to get the highest resolution possible. And finally, is that if you're not satisfied with your result, you can simply rerun it and tweak the prompt or slightly tweak the images, and you'll get out a very different result each time. Now, we also have this new movement amplitude effect, and this impacts the amount of movements that we get in our video. Now, I will show you how this affects the same image to video input. So I'm putting in this image and I'm going to apply the three different rates of amplitude. So this is the image with small amplitude applied. And this is the image with a medium amount of amplitude applied. And finally, this is with large. And as you can see, we get a gradual increase in the amount of movement. Now, Vidu has enhanced its semantic understanding of prompts. And the new model now interprets complex prompts and various camera techniques, including movements, angles, and special methods. This means that we can use much more specific language to define the cinematographic qualities of our work. Now, you can try out a video completely for free, and you get 80 credits every month that allows you to make your own videos without needing to pay a single cent. Now, if you would like to upgrade, you can upgrade for just $10 a month, and this will give you a total of three. 120 credits per month, as well as the ability to create four and eight second videos. Currently, the version 1.5 only allows you to create four second videos. And this also gives you the opportunity to run simultaneous tasks. So you can generate two videos at once. Now beyond that, there is an advanced mode and there's even premium, which is $100 a month. And it gives you 2,880 credits. Now I'm curious, in what year do you think an Oscar will be awarded to a purely AI generated film? Put your predictions in the comments below. I'd love to hear about that. Download the free prompt guide in the description below. And thank you for watching. And most of all, I hope you have a delightful day.